Hello again. We have seen in the previous section of the module that abuse, harm and violence are so normalized that very often, unless it is very visible and brutal, we don't recognize them. The humiliation, the anger, the insults may seem like a normal way of living in a family, in a couple, at work. TV programs uncritically show sexism and bad treatment, verbal violence, crimes and murders. Children in peacetime play war games with toys such as guns and rifles. It is difficult to get out of this model, since although we criticize and reject it in theory, we internalize it in our values and behaviors. For example, the way we solve conflicts, we reproduce models that place us in a spiral of violence and bad treatment. When someone says or does something that makes us angry, we suffer. We tend to make them suffer in response. So we have to change our focus on a possible alternative of bad treatment. The good treatment, what is that? Can we ask young people what is good treatment for them? When have they felt well treated? Or when they have treated someone well? Good treatment is the opposite of bad treatment. Fina Sanzaramon, in her book, Good Treatment, a Project for Life, defines good treatment as a form of expression of respect and love that we deserve and that we can manifest in our environment as a desire to live in peace, harmony, balance, to develop in health, well-being and enjoyment. So she explains that good treatment as bad treatment has three dimensions. There is good treatment on a personal level, that means learning to place myself internally in a peaceful relationship and to negotiate with myself, accept me as I am, to take charge of all my emotions, to know my limits, to know how to say yes and how to say no, to have confidence in knowing that I'm not perfect, to know that sometimes I'm wrong. Only by knowing myself, I'm aware of what fulfills me and makes me happy and I can get rid of the things, values, attitudes that I don't need for myself, to develop tools for self-empowerment and autonomy. Good treatment on the relational level means to be linked with persons on basis of equality, learn on how to reach common agreements, to negotiate, to develop the ability of giving and receiving. In dichotomy male-female, Females usually are the ones who are givers. In our relation to others, good treatment also means to learn that not all the things are negotiable. For example, your partner hitting you is something unacceptable and not negotiable. It also means to assume and be able to put limits, to accept and learn dealing with frustrations. Let's say your partner who seemed ideal at the beginning of the relationship starts showing characteristics that you don't like. So learn to deal with the breakups and accepting changes in life. Good treatment at the social level means changing the structure of power relations into relations of equality and developing values such as collaboration, solidarity, empathy, negotiation, coexistence and respect for differences. It means including rather than excluding, listening rather than criticizing. It's easy to say we want peace, we want good treatment, but what do we do for it? First of all, to be able to establish peace outside, we have to establish peace inside ourselves. To understand it in an integrated way, not only on intellectual level, but also emotionally, we must practice it. What we can do to promote good treatment among young people is inviting them to do different good treatment projects. Make yourself a gift. Think about one thing that you would feel like doing and you know it would make you feel good. Give it to yourself within a certain time. There are two conditions, however. On one hand, the gift should not do you any harm. For example, you would like to smoke a cigarette. 
and on the other hand, it should entirely concern you and no one else. Doing this, young people learn how to take care of themselves better. For example, women are thought to devalue themselves and care of others, while self-care is perceived as something negative. So, doing this project, they listen to their bodies, sensations, emotions, thoughts. They make a personal commitment for their well-being and they feel they're able to choose what is good for them among many options they have. This exercise increases the self-esteem of young people. They show to themselves that they are able to take decisions about what is good for them and in a conscious way. Caregivers and caretakers. The next exercise would focus on relationships and the development of mutual care. All people deserve to treat each other with respect and affection. So we can propose to two or three persons from the group to take care of the rest of the group during one day. Can, can be small things, but things that they enjoy, enjoy doing as well. And then the roles change. Caregivers learn to enjoy caring about the others. The moment when they receive the appreciation of the rest and they feel responsible for their happiness. This practice that combines roles, learning to take care and being cared of, Having this mutual concern for our well-being and feel that good treatment generates good treatment. When this is integrated into the group, it can be extended in daily life, being applied in the family, in an intimate relationship, etc. To promote the good treatment at the social level, in our case the group represents the society, we can propose to young people to draw up good treatment contract. The young people share about the values that need to be respected by the group or the things that need to be done or not in order for each person to feel fully included and treated well. They learn how to collaborate and negotiate. They learn to peacefully co-live and accept and understand the differences. Many exercises on good treatment with young people are about learning to express positive things about themselves and about the others. And on the other hand, fostering the cohesion of the group and increasing the motivation to get to know each other better and increase the trust they have in each other. In the library, you may find a big number of these exercises and you, will, you are going to use them with your young people. Good luck!